We're talking about people who are time setting. We're talking about people who are time setting the return of Yah. That is something that no man knows the hour, the day, nor the year. So I've been seeing a lot of video popping up. Some people are saying, oh, well, 2025, that's it. 2026, that's it. Nobody knows the day, the hour, or the year except Yah. Do not be led astray by these people. You can't be led astray. Shalom, family, shalom. And the reason why I'm telling you you can't be led astray, I mean, when you look at when you listen to the people and you look at the videos, you know that something is just inherently wrong. If the father is saying, look, no one knows, you really think that these people know? Huh? You really think that these people know the hour, the day, or the year when Yah is returning? They don't. If you go to Matthew, Matthew 24, I want to go all the way down into Matthew 24. Matthew 24, verse 25, it says, Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. There are some people who are telling us and they're showing us on videos that, yeah, we saw him appear somewhere in the desert in the Saudi Arabia. We saw him appear someplace in South America. No, 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 no. If Yah is appearing, every single soul will see him in the skies. He's omnipresent, means he could be everywhere, not down in South America. And you in North America have to see him by a video. That's not how he operates. A lot of people are getting this twisted. If Yah is coming here, everybody's going to see Yah. It says, just like how the lightning flashes from the east onto the west, that is exactly how his coming is. Do you understand that? Don't get carried away by some of these false prophecies you see appearing on these channels. We're happy for these mediums because without these mediums, we can't talk as a family. So we have to be happy and we have to be glad when we have these mediums. But you have to be very careful what you look at on these mediums as well. So someone says, he says, Wherefore, if they say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. Because he's not dealing with secrecy. Yah says when he returns to deal with this demonic world, this world that we have topsy-turvy right now, everybody's going to see him. So that's why he says in his word, his words, you have to live by his words. This is, this is what you have to live by. You have to live by it. He says, if they say unto you, behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. You understand what I'm saying to you? No man, no man knows the hour, the day. He says, for as the lightning cometh from the east and shineth even unto the west, so also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Do you know? Do you know that if you're in, so if you're living in Trinidad and you're living in South Trinidad and uh, there's lightning happening on our, um, and you're living in Porto, Spain, yeah, you're going to see the lightning as well. That's how he operates. Everybody's seen it. That's how he's operating. He says, as the lightning flasheth or cometh out from the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. You're going to see him everywhere. No matter where you are, you're going to see him. So I just don't want you to get caught up because this is happening a lot. I'm seeing a lot of videos. There are people, once they're telling you what's coming from Yah's word, that's fine. That's fine with me. But you see people who are time setting, oh, 2025, this is going to be, and 2027, that's it. Everything is done. No, 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 no. They don't know the hour. He could come today while I am speaking to you. He could come tomorrow morning while I'm talking to you. That's why he says, I will come like a thief in the night. You know, you know why? Because nobody knows when the thief is coming. You go to sleep, you feel happy, people break into your house. You don't know when the thief is coming. It doesn't tell you, look, I'm coming at one o'clock, prepare yourself. No, it doesn't. And that is why he said, yeah, I am coming as a thief in the night. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So he continues. He says, for whosoever, for whose, for wheresoever the carcass is, 
there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. There's a lot of things that are supposed to be coming upon this earth and that will come upon this earth. You think you've seen pestilences yet? All these pestilences that they're talking about, most of them manufactured because they're messing with nature. You think you've seen anything yet? We heard about Marburg growing up in Germany. In Africa, where we know where it is, we heard about Ebola, we heard about the Mpox, we heard about uh, the, the, the pandemic one. We heard about West Nile virus. We've seen so much dengue showing up. We're talking about triple E virus one, which they said they have no cure for and all that stuff. We haven't seen anything apparently yet. We haven't seen anything yet. He says a tribulation that is coming upon this where some of us will have to run to the rocks, the mountains, everywhere to hide it. He says, the moon shall, sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Could you imagine the sun not shining in the day? Hmm? And it looks like the night. She refused to give her light. And the powers of heaven shall be shaken. We haven't seen anything yet. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in the heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. People are going to be wailing, mourning, gnashing of teeth. And who don't have teeth will be gnashing their gums. He says, they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Yeah, yeah, I will be in there. And he shall send his angels the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together the elect from the four winds and from one end of the heaven to the other. Now, learn a parable of the fig tree. When its branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, he know that summer is nigh. Do you understand what he's saying here? He says, learn the parable of the fig tree because yeah, when he when he spent his time on earth, it was just parables, parables after parables. And he gave parables because the stories and people are more familiar with understanding stories, right? You don't tell children intellectual stuff like go read um, some book written by Karl Marx or something. You give them a story, a bedtime story because they better understand it, process it. He said, understand the parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, he know that summer is nigh. So when you see all these things start to happen, you know. Mm -hmm. So likewise, when he shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. He says, so likewise, when he shall see all these things that are happening now, know that it is near, even at the doors. He never said it's going to be a year after that. He never said it's going to be two years after that. He said, no, it's even at the door. Door could be one minute to 12. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week. It could be 10 years from now too. But just know that when you see these things, it's getting nearer. It's getting close. But a lot of people are time setting and the time setting is wrong. Have you ever seen, and I don't think any other generation has seen what is happening, what we're seeing now. We never had a period in time where so many wars are popping up around the world and rumors of wars. We've never had a time when we had so much starvation. We never had a time when we had so many pestilences at once. Don't get it twisted. We've had pestilences, we've had wars, but not a global scale where every corner of the earth we have something going on. With guns, pestilences, even... In our Caribbean islands, there was a time when we used to say, oh, it's so peaceful, it's so beautiful, nothing is happening here. We don't want to be like the rest of the world. Well, the rest of the world has come here now. So you're seeing it in Trinidad, you're seeing it in Barbados, you're seeing it in Grenada, you're seeing it in St. Lucia, in St. Vincent, in Antigua, in St. Kitts, everywhere up and down the Eastern Caribbean train, you're seeing it now. They just found in, uh, bones yesterday in St. Vincent Mountains again. Not a body, but just bones. That's somebody who probably been missing, probably wasn't involved in something. They just found bones again. And you had and you had recently where you had six killings in seven days. So you haven't seen anything yet. There's never been a generation where we've seen so many things happening at the same time. So many things are happening that people tell me that they can't even read the news because they don't know where to start. It's so much things at once and they're so confused. And that is how bad things are getting. And that is something that you have to take notice of. So when you see these things, just know. Yeah, just know what's happening. 
So he says, it says, Verily I say unto you, He says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and the hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. You understand what he says there? So all these videos you're seeing when people set in time and dates, don't get caught up with these things. Do not get caught up with these things. He says, but of the day, hour, knoweth no man. The day or the hour knoweth no man. Not even the second, down to the mean second. Nobody knows. That's what he says. No man, not the angels of heaven. So not even the angels with Yah know the hour or the day. Right? But my father only. Yah says his father only knows. Only knows. And he's going to say, look, go deal with that. So only the father knows. Could you imagine that? But as the days of Noah, so shall all the coming of the Son of Man be. Do you get that? But as the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Do you know that Noah preached for 120 years according to the scriptures, the scrolls? People laughed at him. They said, um, where is the promise of your coming? Where is the promise of this? Where is the promise of that? It's crazy, man. They call him bald head. You know, a lot of things they called him. He's building an ark. He's a madman. And then they came. That was it. Because all he has said, go tell my people I'm coming. Never said a date. Never told no what they did. No preached for 120 years according to the scriptures, according to the scrolls. And then it ended. So we could be here today, we're talking about it. We passed away and then another generation come. And then, you know, but the point about it is that don't get caught up in the time setting. The time setting is very, very, very dangerous. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I'm sure you can tell me in your country where you're living that you've never seen a time where so many things are happening at once, where so many crime is taking place at once. You've never seen it. I am sure you can testify of that. Whether you're living in Trinidad, in Barbados, in St. Vincent, in Grenada, in Dominica, in Antigua, in St. Kitts, Jamaica, Cuba, wherever you are in the Caribbean. Because the Caribbean was regarded as a spot where nothing, where it's just cool, calm, and collective. Beaches, coconut trees, a throwback. But not now. Not now. There's never been a time when we've seen so many things happen at once in this Caribbean of ours. And there's never been a time when we've seen so many things happening around the globe at once. Everywhere in this globe, there's some conflict going on. Now, in Europe, you hear about outbreaks of disease now, or Marburg. You see Russia and Ukraine. You see China and Taiwan in one corner having their problems. And then you see them messing around with the Philippines and those in Japan. And then you see North Korea say, look, I'm going to launch some missiles because I'm tired of America. And then you see in South America, we have our very own tensions between Venezuela and Guyana. Now you see the Falkland people saying we're going to take back our islands from the UK. Every corner of the globe. And then you see in America, you see all the issue with the border and the guns and the crimes in the streets. And you see all these things happening. All the disasters in America, the floods, the hurricanes. There's never been a time when so many things have been happening at once. It's so much that you can't even consume one the second another one pops up, it's just getting terrible, 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 terrible. And that is what Yah is saying in his word. I haven't seen anything yet. Tribulation and more tribulation. But just know, he says, he says, when you see these things, just know that I'm even at the door. But he didn't give a time. He didn't give a time. And the time is where we're having problem with because a lot of people time setting. The time setting. But you can't time set when it comes to Yah. You cannot time set. It's dangerous to time set. You live in a false world when you time set. Do you understand? He says that. He says, but of the day and the hour, know it no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Do you know that even his disciples had asked him, he said, tell us. When is thy coming? You know? 
when is thy coming? He didn't even reveal it to the disciples. He said to them, when you see all these things happening in Matthew here, you just know. Just go preach. Just go tell people. Tell them about me. That's all. But no, these, you see these things, these signs, I'm even at the door. But he left no date for them. Not even them. He gave. They were close to him and he didn't even tell them. But he says, only the Father knows. So how could he tell them? <laughs> you have to read and understand. Line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. You know, we haven't seen anything yet because a lot of unfoldings to take place. But the spirit of fear is taking over the world. And Yah's daughter is right. The spirit of fear is taking over. Right? So people are getting scared because they're hearing about so much things. People are not being controlled more by the Hasatan. Yeah, they're being controlled by Hasatan. Spirit of fear is taking over. I mean, when you hear about all these things, you if you if you read Yah's words, you know they are you know they are supposed to happen, right? So you brace yourself, you know they're supposed to happen, and you take comfort that you know Yah's word and you know they're gonna happen. But the spirit of fear is taking over because these people don't know. They do not simply know. And when you get the time set in, it's getting people a false sense where they say, look. Yeah, well, you know, it's just climate change and climate this and climate that. They don't want you to know it's prophecy fulfilling, so they tell you it's climate change. Recently, they said, about two, three years ago, they said all of the polar bears in the Arctic are dying because of climate change. And the population has decreased drastically. We hardly see them. Now they're telling you last year, early this year, hundreds of polar bears have emerged in the Arctic. Yet they're telling you that climate change is happening. Don't get caught up with these people. Don't get caught up with these people. Prophecy is what is fulfilling. They tell you it's climate change so that they will dumb you down, so that you won't pay attention to the word. By the time you decide to pick up that word, it's already too late. So that is what they're doing. They're dumbing you down with these things. So they're bringing up a lot of terms so that you will take these terms and run with them. Do not get convinced by these things. Get your word and follow it and you will know what is exactly what exactly is happening in the world that you live today everything that you want to know that is happening it's actually inside this book it's here for as the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day of Noah entered the ark and i knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall the coming of the son of man so shall the coming of Yah be. So it's the same thing that's happening today. That's what they're doing. They're distracting you with so many things and calling them by a different name until he appears. And then we ask, wait, I didn't know. I thought they said it was 2035. I think they said it was 2040 or 2050. Don't get it twisted. Get into Yah's word today. That's why I keep telling you, get into Yah's word. Everything is here. They're doing all these things that they used to do back in Noah's day. Same thing is happening today, but they're giving us things to distract us. You see the cell phone? The cell phone is a master of destruction, a master of destruction. You're on the cell phone, maybe 18 hours a day. Some people don't sleep at night. They scroll, they scroll, they scroll, they just go through and they go through and they go through and they don't sleep. Damaging your health. And then when you're finished with that now, they tell you to come to the doctor because maybe you have diabetes, you have high blood pressure, you have this, you have that. And you have to take a multitude of tablets to damage your body that you are created. And you don't eat the right foods either. You don't eat the vegetables. You don't eat the ground food. You don't eat anything. You just eat the, 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 the all of the smack dab thing that they put in a nice burger. And they, and they just eat them down. And, you know, you it's just it's so many things that they give us for distractions. And we're not paying attention. So he said it here. He says, as in the days of Noah, when they were doing all these things, just as it was happening today. The same thing is going to happen in our time. And it's happening all now. We're really distracted by the cell phone. I mean, it's good and it's bad because you can get instant communication. So something happened to a family member and you're somewhere, yes, they can call you immediately. Not as long ago, you have to wait. And maybe somewhere and somebody transmit a message. So the cell phone has played a very important role in today's world as well. But it's played a bad role also in today's world. British telecoms, one of the biggest providers over there telling people in the UK, 
they are so angry that they didn't tell parents a long time ago don't give cell phones to children who are 13 years and under it is wreaking havoc across the world that's so that's what i'm saying to you so we are being distracted but if you know yah's word you will not you will know that it is the distraction and you will not be caught up by it because he says for as the days that were before the flood they were eating marrying drinking giving in marriages until it, it just simply means that they were participating in a lot of revelry they were being distracted they weren't paying attention to anything that no was saying and that is the same thing that's happening today be wary with the catchphrases that they're telling you today when you hear climate change you know it's a dumbing down of the prophecy so that you won't believe that what's taking place is actually prophecy fulfilling they will tell you that it's what it is so they have to come up with something right so now don't think that the climate is not changing now of course it is changing the word said it is going to change too it's part of prophecy but they're telling you it's climate change they're not going to tell you it's prophecy full villain said it in his word right so let's go and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of yah be you know you have to be ready for this thing because he says in matthew in 25 he says when i'm coming they'll be like unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom this is so sweet it is so sweet and the five of them are wise and five are foolish and that's why i said to you don't be caught up don't be caught up you have to know what's taking place and they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them but the wise took oil in their vessels. You know what's the oil? The oil is the word of Yah. You have to have it here. You have to have it in your heart. You have to know what's taking place. You can't be getting ready for somebody to come and you're not prepared. You have to be prepared. You know why you have to have extra oil? You know why you have to have the word inside here? Because he said, I'm not going to tell you the hour, nor the day, nor the year. So you have to have a little oil in your lamp keep it burning that's what the song says a lot of people they, they're getting ready for you but there's no oil in their lamp there's no oil there's no word in season none sad right but the word is really sweet and he says while the bridegroom tarried they all slumbered and slept so while the eye is saying look i don't think some of you are ready for me Look at what you all are doing. You say you're a child of Yah, but look at what you're doing. What look at what look at your behavior. You're not even telling someone about Yah. So Yah says, I'm tarrying a little while. But while he tarried, he didn't tarry because he he was he was sleepy. No. Tarry because he wanted you to get ready. But what did you do? You slumbered and slept. That's what you did. You slumbered and you slept. Yeah. He's tarrying, huh? But all the things happening, he's still tarrying, but you're sleeping. You're not waking up yet. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. He said, I'm going to come like a thief in the night. Most thief, you know, most people try to break into someone's house, they come around midnight hour. From there, go backwards, you know, most of the time, because they know people will be up at 10, most people will be up at 11 still, so they come at midnight, the dead of night, people say, when you're sleeping and you don't know what's taking place around you and sound sleep that's what they say i mean some people are light sleepers but most people sleep really deep in the midnight hour one o'clock two o'clock you don't know but that doesn't even give you an indication as to the time that he's coming midnight means you don't know that's what it means you don't know when they said it's midnight in someone's lives it means that they've died they don't know when they're gonna die midnight you don't know when it's going to happen darkest part of the night you don't know what's going to take place midnight get ready people so he said at midnight there was a cry made behold the bridegroom coming midnight unawares midnight unaware of what's happening yeah then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lambs are gone out. And the wise answered, Say, No, not so. This there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell, buy for yourselves. Hear what he said? 
Heard what the white said? No, we're not giving you. You have to be prepared. You can't say you are part of Yah's family and deny the power thereof. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. Because no man knows the hour, the day, nor the year when Yah will put in his appearance. But like the virgins, and you see, this is the thing, and the Bible, you know, Yah's words, you know, it's just parables. It's just parables, parables. And you have to understand the parables. But parables are good things because it's, it's like a story in you and you know you get to know what it means. The kingdom of Yah is lightened unto ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five foolish and five were wise. <laughs> Y'all gotta get ready. Y'all gotta get ready. Things are happening around us. One of the things I'm not gonna do is to come here and tell you Yah is making an appearance next year, 10 years from now. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to study Yah's word. That's all we do. We're going to talk about his words, meditate on his words, get to understand what he says. But we're not going to get bogged down with time because we can't set time. No man knows the hour, the day, nor the night.